To turn on the projector, either take the small black remote and press the power button in the upper right hand corner, or you take the power strip that's wired into the smart board and press the power button on that. Take a few moments for the projector to start up. In order for the projector to be connected and displayed on the, or rather the computer to be connected and displayed on the projector, you need to have the display link driver installed on your computer. MindShift can do this for you. And in addition to that, you're gonna want them to install the education software uh, disk, which also came in your installation box, which should have been left in your room. You can contact the operations staff and they can help coordinate MindShift to make sure that both of these pieces of software are installed on your computer. As you can see, it only takes a moment for the projector to warm up. In addition uh, to the software that came in your box, you'll have uh, two pens that come in um, a container, a white container, that has magnets on the back so that can stick on any magnetized surface uh, in your classroom. The pen itself has a place to charge in the very bottom, you can pull back the plastic covering, and there's a USB connector that can be plugged into any USB port, and there's a small switch. You want to flip the switch until you see the light on the pen. First it turns orange, and then it turns green, and then you know that it's charged and ready to be used. Okay? Once your board is on, I want to direct your attention to the two different menus uh, which you can use to control the board. On the side, you will see a small rectangle that has two arrows and what looks like a little grid on the bottom of it. You can take your pen, you press those double arrows, and a menu appears on the side. On the very bottom, there is a settings gear wheel. If you press that settings gear, uh, another screen pops up, which allows you to view all the different icons that you can drag over and add to the side. The first view that I will recommend that you move over is the orient. This will allow you to orient the board. So press and drag this over to the side. I also recommend the screen shade and spotlight. So take a moment and move those over. Now something very cool is in addition to your pen, your finger also works on the board. So if you find another icon that you'd like to move over, you can also use your finger as well. Some of these are self-explanatory, like pen and eraser. And then once you're done, you can click the done button. If you run out of room on the side and you'd like more icons, you can press the plus next to columns and that will uh, enlarge the area on the left. Okay, so once you're done, press done. And we're going to go ahead and calibrate the board. So take the pen or your finger and press on the calibrate, rather the orient. And then you want to follow the instructions. Now you'll be prompted to calibrate it with your finger. After the board is calibrated, I'm going to show you how to use the pen or your finger to control your computer through the board. On the side menu, you want to make sure that the top pointer icon is selected, and that is your select tool. You can use your finger, again, or your board to click, uh, or your pen rather, to select anywhere inside the board and control it like a mouse. Uh, if you wanted to type on the screen, again, on the left-hand side, there is a keyboard icon. Press that keyboard icon. Keyboard shows up. Click again inside here. And you can type. Autocomplete will take over, and you can go to whatever website you need to. If you want to get rid of the keyboard, simply click on the X in the upper right-hand corner, and that will get rid of it. Okay, you can again use your finger to go back if you need to. The second most useful function is to be able to annotate over top of the screen. Okay? You can access either of these tools, the Select or Annotate tool, from either menu. The top menu has the Select tool, or if we want to use the Annotate tool, we could select Pen, select a different color and thickness. And again, you can use your finger or pen.
If you want to erase the annotations that are on the screen, the very top, select the top menu, second from the top right, it says clear ink. That will clear anything that is done up top. Now again on the side, you can select a red pen or a black pen. There's an erase feature. And I asked you to add the spotlight and reveal function. So I will show you what those look like. If you select the reveal, which looks like a um, projector screen, that's what the icon looks like. If you select that, the entire screen is grayed out. And if you notice at the very top or the very bottom, there are small icons which will allow you to, again with your pen or finger, reveal little by little what is on the screen. And you can also do it from the bottom. And there's a red X in the right hand corner that you can undo. Now if you're interested, you can also spotlight. And there is an icon that looks like a spotlight. So if I click on this icon of a spotlight, in this particular case, I have set mine to a particular shape, which is a star. Just below the shape, there is again an icon of a spotlight with a little arrow. If you click on the arrow, you can change the transparency or the shape. So if you press on shape, it will then allow you to choose either an ellipse, a rectangle, or a star. I have a star, I'll switch it to an ellipse, and it changes it. Now there's a blue ring around, which if you use your pen or finger on this blue, you can actually change the size of it. You can reveal, or spotlight rather, just what you want. If you want to move the ellipse or star or rectangle, you can use your finger or pen and just click outside of that and move it any way you like. To get rid of the spotlight, click on the small arrow and select exit. If you want to reset the side menu, you can select the settings and restore defaults. This will return it back to normal. The very top, again we have the select, the pen tool, there is a highlighter feature, there is a yellow and green highlighter and then erasers as well. So if you wanted to highlight a particular uh, area on your screen, select the highlighter tool, and then you can highlight anything on the screen. And this is an annotation or ink on the screen, so if you want to get rid of it, simply click on the top menu again, and clear ink. On the side menu, in addition to all of these wonderful icons that you can drag over, there's an additional piece of software, it's called Smart Notebook. And I want to show you guys how to open that up. So you open up the side menu, and third from the bottom is a blue box which looks like it has a piece of paper and a pencil. When you click on this, Smart Notebook will open and give you a presentation that comes default with the software. And it's an actual tutorial for how to use the learning software. Um, I'm not, I will create a separate training video that will really get into depth with this particular software, but I wanted to show you where it was in case you were interested and wanted to check it out for yourself. There are many, many, many more wonderful things that can be done with this board. This is just an intro to get you guys comfortable with it. So I hope that you found this useful, and please look for more videos in the future. Thank you.